hope you are right in today's video i'm going to plant these beautiful sunflower seedlings in this big patio container i started these seedlings from seeds a couple of weeks ago and you can see they are growing nicely they are looking really healthy and they are running out of these small seed starting cells so i thought i would plant them in their final patio container where they are going to stay for the rest of the summer i have filled this pot with uh, topsoil this is good quality topsoil it holds stays moist but it's good good training as well so you need to use something for your containers patio containers if you want to grow plants in your containers you need to use a uh, potting mix or a um, potting soil which is good training but it holds onto moisture so it doesn't dry out all the way so here i'm going to top it with more compost and i'm going to add some chicken manure pellets which are slow releasing fertilizer so these pellets have 4% nitrogen, 1.5% phosphorus and 2% potassium. Nitrogen is good for the growth of leaves and phosphorus for the growth of roots and potassium for the overall immunity of the plant and also for flowering and fruiting. So potassium is good for flowering. So we are growing these sunflowers for their flowers. So these are ornamental plants. So I'm going to take this out of here so you can see this is going road bound here. So I'm going to fluff up the roots a little bit. I started these seeds like one seed in each cell. There are two in a couple of cells. So I will be taking them apart. But first I'm going to take them all out and arrange them here and then i'll be filling around them so they come out really easily they are a little bit root bound because these are small cells so you can start your sunflower seeds in bigger cups as well so then they can stay longer in those cups uh, we are having really nice weather these days uh, nice a little bit cold but not that frosty and i think these plants can make it they have been sitting in main greenhouse so if the night is too cold, I can take them back to the greenhouse because they are in the container anyway, uh, if at night time. Don't want to disturb roots too much, just a little bit. So they go in all directions. I'm going to arrange them here nicely. So this is quite big pot. It's um, like 25 to 30 liter soil in it so i think it will be all right to grow these plants sunflowers can grow quite huge and tall so you can see these two are together and the roots are a little bit joined together so i'm gently trying to take them apart from each other so they're not too close so they can do with a little bit of sticking and with bigger pods If they are too much root bound and it's not possible to separate them, you can discard one seedling and keep the other one. So this is all done, now I'm going to fill around them with the soil, just to keep them straight a little bit.
I'm pressing the soil so the there are no air pockets around the roots and the plants are secured in their position. It's a bit windy today so they are falling over a little bit and it's okay when you transplant the seedlings they can fall over a little bit and that's fine they will recover soon. They are going to go in my front yard where it gets lots of morning sun. So I, uh, sunflower prefers a position which is sunny. And they will need some stacking as well as they can go quite high. So I think they are looking good. I'm just going to water them gently. So I'm going to put a stake here now. They don't need staking now but like as they grow and they grow quite fast. They will need staking so I don't want to disturb the roots at that point. So it's a good idea to stake. So if you found this video place. useful please Just give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel as it helps me to make more videos and click on the bell button so you receive all the notifications. Your opinion matters to us so please leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.